What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back again with another Pokemon Go video and today I've got you a freaking treat. I'm so psyched about this, I really am. Today we are doing all three starter evolutions for the first gen. We are going to be doing Charmander, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. It's been a long time coming, I've been grinding my freaking ass off, it's taken me so goddamn long. I've been trying to find the best one with a really good IV. If you haven't seen the IV video I've done, I'll put an annotation on the screen now. Make sure to go and check that out, it's freaking awesome. That's basically how you find the really strong Pokemon and uh, gives it all sort of the explanation and the analogies of all of the IV sort of perspective of that. Just go and click the video, go and check that out, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with this video. I'm super psyched, I've been grinding my ass off. I've kept a little bit of Stardust. I should have stocked up more Stardust, I don't know why. I used a freaking insane amount of Stardust on my Machamp. If you wanna see that as well, it is on screen now. Go and check that out, it's freaking beast, I'm not going to say what the CP is, but it's over 2000, it is absolutely insane. One of my favourite Pokemon. But yeah, let's start off with the three starters and let's get right into the video. Okay, so here is my 94 IV Bulbasaur, it is freaking insane, it is a beast and it carries all the way up to Venusaur as well. Pretty psyched about this. Moveset, not too bad, but that's okay. HP, meh, pretty moderate, so let's evolve it into our Venusaur, let's get that going already. This is freaking so cool. I think a Venusaur is the only one I don't actually have out of all the three. I've seen the Blastoise and caught it. It was like level 400. It was rubbish. I mean, I actually caught a Charizard as well. But that was freaking ages ago. And that was on one of the sort of adventure episodes, sort of the vlog thing. So I want to see what CP this is. I'm very curious. 924. Not too bad. But as you can tell, look at that bar. It's a massive bar to power up through. So obviously, we're still going to have a lot of Bulbasaur candies, but obviously that Stardust is going to be the main issue. So, uh, But a 94 all the way through is not too bad. I will keep that. Moves as well. Vine Whip is not too bad. And Sludge Bomb. Mm, I really wanted Solar Beam, to be totally honest, on sort of this tank of a Pokemon. So obviously now we're going to kick it up to a Venusaur. Which is a pretty beast. I only discovered the other day Venus was actually a giant toad or a frog. I thought it was actually a dinosaur with a plant on its back. But it's not actually, it's just a giant frog if you look at the back of it. So that's uh, kind of freaking weird, not gonna lie. But yeah, here he is. Here's the legend. Here's the tank. New Pokemon discovered as well. And unfortunately, I didn't pop a lucky egg throughout this whole entire clip. So I did this. It's really stupid. But uh, oh wow. So there we go. Four, 100, 1446, I believe it was. Sludge Bomb again and Vine Whip, not too bad, but then again, he is a pretty big boss Pokemon, I'm not going to lie, and obviously as well, he's still a 94 rating. So, let's obviously crack on this power, and power him up a little bit. So let's crack on with the other ones as well, I think that's the only power I did put in him, so uh, yeah, let's crack on with Charmander. Okay, so here is my Charmander, it is 80 IV, which is not too bad, but it's pretty damn good at the same time. Only 515, as you can tell, there's a lot of the card to be filled on that one as well, but again, pretty damn sweet so we're gonna obviously look at the moves it's got scratch which is a normal and fire burst or blast burst I think yeah I can't actually see on screen I think it's burst but still let's get it going into a chart million I'm curious to see what CP this is I've obviously recorded these a fair back ago I think about maybe a week ago a week ago um so obviously I'm very curious to see what CP actually does turn out to be just throughout this, because obviously I have powered on up between them. Obviously, there is an update video coming out very shortly. But there is Charmeleon there, which is 852. Not too bad. Ember, which is sick. And obviously, Fame Burst still on there. Not too bad. Hopefully, we can get something else like Flamethrower. That'd be pretty damn sick. Only 118 candies left. So, obviously, you can go to Charizard. And then we still got 18 candies to spend on this little beast. 75 HP is not too bad, I would have said. But it's not great. So, uh, yeah, let's obviously make this little gem into a Charizard. So let's bump it up. Here we go. Charmeleon always does remind me of someone like a, like an angry school child. I don't know why. It's just the way that he sort of stands and walks around. Maybe it's just this area. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's a bit weird. But there's the tank himself, Charizard, which is obviously a lot better than our other Charizard, which we spent so much Stardust into. It is lower. CP than the other Charizard, but again, back to the IV, it will absolutely teabag the living shit out of the other one, so that's good. But yeah, there he is. I'm going to put a couple more points into him as well. I actually want to get this up to about 1500 as well, with the same as the Venusaur. Uh, my Blastoise, I do go a little bit ham purely because Blastoise is one of my favorites as well, and obviously, Squirtle was a starter one, so obviously, we just want to get it my high, you know. There we go, 1509, that will do me sweet and dandy. There it is, Fire Blast 100%, that is max. That is super awesome, and Ember, which is 10 as well. Let's go and do Squirtle. 
Okay, now it's time for your boy Squirtle with a 695. He's the highest out of all of them here. He's only an IV rating of 55. Now, the only reason I did this is because, as you can tell, I've got a shitload of Squirtle candies. It's just because I haven't found anything more decent. This is the only one. I've kept so many. I've sorted through so many. Grinded my ass off. There's a couple of nests, I think, around Brighton Way. And uh, just walking along the seafront at Little Hampton, there's quite a few Squirtles as well. So I haven't really done anything besides that. This, as I say, I've probably been saving since it was a little, little wee baby, to be totally fair. So I haven't sort of made any war turtles, any ones I've, I've actually caught are in the wild. So it's not too bad. But here we go. This is the war turtle. I'm not too sure what CP is going to have. Whoa, not too bad. 1,117. Pretty damn good. HP 91, quite strong. Water gun 6, not too bad. And Jet 25, mm, but it's obviously a really quick attack as well to power up through this. That's not too bad, not going to lie. I don't know why I'm going through all these menus. I was thinking about popping a lucky egg. There we go, there's the lucky egg. I thought I did actually get one in this video. So obviously there we go. Obviously a load of cat peas as well. That's pretty damn cool. So yeah, let's make this beast into a Blastoise because I'm really happy. I totally forgot what the word was in Blastoise. I, I've named it Bulb. I have no idea. Bulbasaur. It's totally different, but our... Uh, yeah, this is my Blastoise. I obviously power this up insane because just look at it. Especially when it goes Mega Revolvers, which I'm hoping comes in second gen. I doubt that very much, though. Mega Revolvers would be pretty damn sick. But here he is, 1828. Woo-wee, that is a freaking boss. But then again, we've still got 147 candies to power this absolute legend up. So we go Flash Cannon, which is still I was a little bit upset with, and obviously Water Gun Standard. Flash Cannon might be okay because it is steel and we are primarily water. Might be able to take a few gyms sort of in the aspect of that. I'm not too sure. But, uh, you know, we, we, might be able to, we might be able to see how it goes. But as you can tell here, 34 per power up, not too bad. 122 as standard, but obviously it's going to go up because we're going to still power it up. So it is pretty damn beasty. There we go. I think we get it just past 2k because look it sits on 1998 which is a little bit depressing so i thought hey why not just pump a little bit more into it and i believe it is almost max cp for what it is i think maybe one more or two more power-ups and that is pretty much blastoise done there he is look at that freaking tank but guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment let me know what your pokemon are at at the moment let me know where you are at this evolution stage with all three of the stars let me know what ivs you got for sort of charmander bulbasaur and square as well i'm really interested to see what you guys have as well thanks ever so much sorry guys there haven't been many sort of um sort of sort of video things at this current point in time i'm actually on sort of taking a little break from work to sort of concentrate on the channel a little bit more uh, I've been neglecting it a lot, but also I've been grinding a shitload of candies out, and that's generally for everything. I've got so much in store for you guys. It's just I'm nearly out nearly every single day playing this game, and uh, I've been freaking tired for last week, purely because I've been trying to do content for Pokemon Go, and uh, yeah, a lot more to be coming. Let me trust you on that. I'm probably playing Pokemon Go as soon as this video is actually released, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. This has been Killer Kev, and Killer Kev out.